Hi beauties! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful bikini bottom. But before we start this project, I have someone very special to introduce to you. Are you ready? Hello crochet lovers, this is Bruna Scality and I also have a crochet and DIY channel here on YouTube and I want to invite you all to visit my channel after this amazing video. I crochet a variety of different projects such as shorts, dresses, tops, bikinis, cushion covers and so many other projects. So let's share some love and positivity, enjoy our collab video and I'll see you guys soon. Happy crochet! In this project I use Alice Diva Stretch and I love this yarn so much, especially when you want to go in the water. This is the best yarn ever. Yeah, 3.5 millimeter hook. And um, you need a yarn needle, pair of scissors, and some stitch marker. Today, I'm going to show you the bottom. And for um, the bottom side, S is 34.6 inches to 36 inches so my my hip that is the hip side my hip is about 35 36 inches so this is size s when you get the written pattern you are you get all the sizes for different hip size and that you will know how to do it so for my side we're gonna start with chain 60 first you're going to make a slip knot can make slip knot in any way you want then you're going to chain um, 60 so when you got 60 chain i'm trying to zoom here all right 60 chain then you add three chain then you will add half double crochet in fifth chain from hook. So you have to count three, four, five. So here, half double crochet. And then you're going to chain one, skip one, and you're going to add half double crochet into the next one. And this is pretty much what you're going to do. Chain one. Skip one and half double crochet into the next one. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet into the next one. And you're going to repeat this across the row until you get into the end of the row. So here, the last one. Just make sure that when you make a 60 chain plus three, at the end you will have total of 30 boxes i will show you what i mean by that this is my last one so this is create a little boxes here this like boxes so i have in the end 30 boxes here and now i complete row one for row two here i'm going to chain three turn the work and i'm going to skip the chain space and it's like just add the half double crochet on top of the half double crochet from the previous row. So then chain one and now you're going to continue that. Just going to add half double crochet on top of the half double crochet from previous row. Chain one. This is pretty much this row, pattern of this row. You see this row two, I'm not sure if I have mentioned that you have to always chain one and skip one so that every time you add half double crochet is aligned with the half double crochet from previous row. And when you come at the end, when you chain one already, you will see that here, this is look like this. You just have to skip one still here one, and then you're gonna add the last half double crochet in the third chain of turning chain and how this is how you finish the row. 
please do not forget because it's very important to have this last one to be able to finish all the row like so see you must not forget the last one all right this one and now you're going to repeat row two for two more row follow row three and row four i see you when you finish row four so here i have finished four rows of these boxes design i'm going to count um seven boxes from the right and from the left like this this is one boxes right you see here Here yeah, is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to add one um, stitch marker here on the seven. Here. And I'm doing the same here. I'm going to do this side one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm just going to add a stitch marker here, seven. So this is on the seven, the box of seven. Also this side. And I'm going to add, as the, you see here, just the, this one. But I'm just going to add from here, from the half double crochet next to the the box of the number seven. So from here to here, I'm going to, see this is a stitch marker. And I'm going to slip stitch here next to it. And I'm going to do a half double crochet until I arrive to the other side like so. Now I actually forgot I have to Chain one and cut the yarn. Chain two. This just to build up the yarn, the chain two. And then I will add one half double crochet in the chain space that next to it. I also crochet the tail inside. I add one half double crochet and chain space and then I add a half double crochet on top of half double crochet from previous row. And again, add half double crochet and chain space. And I'm going to do this, make sure that I don't miss anything one half double crochet on top of half double crochet from previous row one half double crochet inside of the chain space and i'm going to continue this until i arrive at the other side right before right before the stitch marker so here I have in total of 32 stitches of half double crochet until now and the second row is going to be the rows of decreasing and um, this is how we do a decreasing row when we do a decreasing row, you might do different, but how I do, I just turn the work. I do not make any chain. And I just going to poke the hook inside the first stitch and take the yarn. And then the next one, I take the yarn. And then I just take the yarn, pull through three loops. That's how I decrease. This is one. And then the next one, I just take the yarn and I do normally, usually the half double crochet. So I'm going to do this until the end of the row. And then the last two stitches, I'm going to also 
decreasing like the last two I will put them together to be one half double crochet stitch in this row at the end you will have total of 30 half double crochet stitch because you decrease one stitches at the beginning and one stitches at the end so this row you have less two less and so now you have these two going to add one take one and then two and then you're just going to put it together so this is how you decrease the row so this row you should have 30 stitches and now row three just to show you <laughs> first row three chain two turn our work and now you're going to add one half double crochet in each stitch across you're going to end up have 30 half double crochet in row three and row four you're going to repeat row three as well so you're just gonna add one half double crochet in each stitch across until the end of the row for row three and row four you do the same so here is already finishing of row four i wanted to explain to you quick because i'm going to do this off the camera and before we continue with decreasing and non-decreasing row, perhaps you want to write this down so that you don't get confused when we come back to continue the rest of the bottom. All right, now take a note, a pen and paper to write down. Here, row four is non-decreasing, which is the repeating of row three. And we have the total of 30 half double crochet. Row five, you're going to repeat row two. When I say row two, it means decreasing and row three is non-decreasing, all right? So row five, repeating row two. Row six, seven, repeating row three. Row eight, repeating row two. Row nine and 10, repeating row three. Row 11, repeating row two. Row 12 and 13, repeating row three. Row 14, repeating row 2. Row 15 and 16, repeating row 3. Row 17, repeating row 2. Row 18 and 19, repeating row 3. Row 20, repeating row 2. Row 21, 22, repeating row 3. Row 23, repeating row 2. Row 24, 25, repeating row 3. Row 26, repeating row 2. And at the row 26, you're going to have total of 14 half double crochet. And you're going to stop there at the row 26. And I will meet you there when I return again. If you don't catch everything I said, just go back and re-listen again write down all the number and i'm sure you'll be able to continue and meet me at row 26. so here i'm in row 26 and the row 26 is decreasing rows so the last one i have 14 it's 14 half double crochet and I'm going to repeat this 14 half double crochet for another seven rows but yeah it's meaning that it's no more decreasing I'm just gonna add one stitch marker here so that I know this row is the last one so I'm going to add another seven rows of 14 half double crochet this chain two and add one half double crochet in each of the half double crochet from previous row and the total of this row will be 14 and like i said another we're going to make seven rows so when you've got seven rows and yeah i meet you there one two three four five six seven and now what i'm going to do i'm going to chain one and cut the yarn this is just the front part of this bikini bottom we're going to do the back part as well. 
and the back part is very similar just slightly different the first thing that is the same is that we're going to make this part same we're going to change 60 plus 3 and do everything the same for the first four rows so here i have finished four rows of this band now we're going to start the back part of this bottom the back part is a little bit different we're not gonna count in like this one this one is like the front part so the back part we're gonna start directly from here to here so we're going to start the next row of chain two and this row is very easy because we're going to add half double crochet in each stitch across so the first one is in third chain from hook and then we're going to add half double crochet in the chain space and then half double crochet on top of half double crochet from previous row and then the next one half double crochet in chain space and you're going to repeat this until the end of the row. Now I finished my first row, which is, you know, these four rows at the band, we just call it the band rows. And now we're going to start this. We already have the first row of non-decreasing rows and show you the second row, which is decreasing row. And it's pretty much like the other side at this part you just turn your work and you're going to poke the hook take the yarn poke the hook again take the yarn this is how you put two stitch together this is called like a half double crochet two together so this is decreasing and then the next one just do normal half double crochet until you arrive at the end of the row and then the last two stitches you're going to do again half double crochet two together and this row you're going to have in total of 58 half double crochet let's let's do like this i will speak it out and maybe you want to write it down row two now we just did is decreasing row row three non-decreasing row four decreasing row five non-decreasing row six decreasing row seven non-decreasing row eight decreasing row nine non-decreasing row 10 decreasing row 11 non-decreasing so going on and on like this until you arrive at row 31 which is non-decreasing row row 31 you're going to have 30 half double crochet and I will meet you at row 31 and of course if you find um, my way of explaining a little bit too complicated you can get a written pattern which has everything lining down on the paper for you and it's easier for you to see but before I leave you do everything yourself, I just want to explain or show you a little bit that the row of non-decreasing, you must always chain two, like now I chain two. And this is non-decreasing row. Non-decreasing row is like the repeating of row one and the decreasing row is the repeating of row two. Okay, so here, um, I actually continue to row 34 now and where is the stitch marker is 31, 32, 33, 34. So I thought you will meet in 31 but I'm sorry I just continue with another 3 row. I'm just gonna explain to you in this row 31 this is where we arrive at 30 half double crochet and from row 31 from this row we're going to decreasing every row from now on so meaning that 32 I have 28 and 33 I have 26 and 34 now I have 24 half double crochet and I'm going to continue to do again every row decreasing up two stitches until I arrive at row 39 
where I will have in total of 14 half double crochet. I hope you understand. Uh, go on and keep decreasing every row until you got to 14 half double crochet, which is again row 39. Here I add row 39, and the last row I have 14 half double crochet. And the pattern said, my pattern said we have to continue another four rows of this 14 half double crochet. So I'm going to move this stitch marker and I'm going to add on this one. And another four rows here because we wanted to have 14 half double crochet, meaning that we do not decreasing anymore. So chain two and just add half double crochet like you would normally do in each stitch across. Yeah, I got it. Already four more rows. And now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to cut the yarn that long enough to connect this both part together, like so. So we're going to start from the back part and from here and coming down to here. To start, we're going to slip stitch into the top slip stitch into the top of this chain over here I like I don't want to go inside the chain space you can do that if you want to but I'm going to find the corner which is this part I'm going to slip stitch Sometime in the pattern it says slip knot, but the same thing. Now we're going to chain five. I'm just gonna leave the tail for now and I put it later, so I in later. So now what we're going to do, we're going to skip this one, the first chain space, and we're going to add single crochet to the next one like so you see now we have a little loop here chain three and now we're going to now we're going to skip also the next chain space over here and we're going to single crochet into the next one like that chain three and now we're going to come to the between stitch Instead of this is the row of double crochet of half double crochet. You see this row? This is the row of half double crochet. And here we call the between row. Let me show you. Here we call the between row. The between rows. You know? The space between the rows. You will see this is the space between the rows. Or this is the space between the rows. So what we are going to do and what we're going to repeat until the other side, until the end of this, till the, the top, the front part, is that we're going to skip the first between rows and we're going to go into the next, which is this one. And we add a single crochet there and chain three. And we do the same, we're going to skip this one and we're going to add a single crochet here. And this is what you're going to repeat again and again until you arrive at the end and I will show you the next step. See, you see this the between rows, next one you skip, then you go to the next one. When you pull your work a little bit more stretch open, you will see the between rows more clear, like this, there's a the between rows. So now the next one is here, we skip and we go to the next one, which is this one. This is the next one, we skip, we go here. And again, chain three and do the same thing again and again until you arrive at this row. 
and I show you how we do this part. So here I arrive into this corner. You can see here I got my last single crochet here and I'm going to chain three. And what I do, I'm going to add one inside this first chain space. And again, chain three. But I'm going to skip the next one. I'm going to the next one. And chain three. I skip the next chain space. I go to the next one. Chain three skip the next one and now I go instead of inside here I go on the corner because that's what I like better it's whole better for me I found so this is how I finish the first row it's very easy and make the trim look much nicer also you can see already this is one side we have not yet made the trim this is the other side I'm going to do the row two i show you the row two and after that you can just repeat row two for as many row as you want i show you the row two chain five turn the work and then you just single crochet in the first chain space like that chain five and single crochet First chain space and chain three, single crochet into the next chain space. Like that. Chain three, single crochet into the next one. Chain three, and it's so easy. You're going to do that only chain three and single crochet into the chain space, always doing that until the end of the row pretty much the repeating of row two and i repeat it for total of five rows but you can do as many rows as you want you see the five rows one give the feeling of legs kind of style and now we're going to continue without cutting the yarn we're going to make the band part here so what we're going to do we're going to chain two and in this chain space, we're gonna add um, one half double crochet. Sorry, off the camera. So we chain two. And in this chain space, we're gonna add one half double crochet. In the next chain space, we add two half double crochet. The next one, two half double crochet. And then the next one, two half double crochet. As well as the next one and then the last one we add one half double crochet only so we have oops, total of 10 you can see four five six seven eight nine ten ten and now we're gonna turn our work and for the second row let me check. Okay, chain two. Turn our work. And now this row, we're going to skip the first half double crochet stitch here. And we're going to add to the next one. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, last one, nine. So now this row we have nine, and now we chain two. And again, we're going to skip the first one, and we're going to add half double crochet into the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
six, seven, the last one here, eight. So when you got to eight, the number of the eight half double crochet, I suggest you to add one stitch marker just right here so that we know from now on we're going to add for my size or your size whatever your size you're making perhaps you need the written pattern to walk you through but uh, in the band part you're going to make as long as it will fit you so from now on I'm going to repeat And now I'm going to show you how to connect. We're going to connect this part with the chain space here and we're going to use four of the chain space. One, two, three, four. The four of the chain space of the back part, you see? Again, I count because I was off the camera. One, two, three, four. How I connect, I'm going to add two single crochet in one chain space like this. Just going to show you, then you can see. So here, as I'm going to add in two, 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 two. So I just block it out. This is the fourth, one, two, three, four. And I'm going to add, um, what I'm gonna do. First, I'm gonna chain one after this I finish here. And I'm going to poke the hook inside here my stitch here and then I'm just gonna put inside this chain space I take the yarn I put single crochet you can do in any way you want this is the way I connect it so I poke the hook again into the stitch and in the same chain space I take the yarn and I add single crochet and I'm going to do this now into the next chain space here single crochet Again, the same chain space, put the hook here, and this is how I connect it. Of your piece. For me, it doesn't matter. And now I'm going to cut off the yarn and I'm just going to leave a little bit of the tail of the yarn like that. I will fasten up later on. But for the other side, just go back and see how we did it. So you have to start from the back side like we did in the other side and just go here in the corner just go back to see how we do this part and you're gonna do exactly the same and I meet you when you finish your your the other side <laughs> and here we go I finish it and I decided to just make the strap here the extra row only five repeating of eight half double crochet although i made seven because the first bikini bottom i make seven maybe this time i lose a little bit weight i don't know so i can become a little bit too big so i take it out two rows so just feel free to yeah try it on and see if it fit you well otherwise you just can change and modify it as you go I have two different style of the top when you get a written pattern so go ahead get a written pattern so you get the top as well and